Hello there, little Billy. Say, Billy, do you know what a zombie is? What we call zombies are, in fact, reanimated corpses of the recently deceased, caused by exposure to a germ scientists have dubbed solanum. When a dead body is exposed to solanum, the cells are brought back to life through the subconscious neural pathways of the brain. Zombies are primarily driven on instinct and a terrible, insatiable hunger to feast on living human flesh. The bites of zombies turn their victims into members of the living dead themselves. Anybody killed by a zombie will turn into a zombie. In short, the people they kill get up and kill. The only vulnerable part of a zombie is its head. To destroy a zombie, you destroy the head. You can do this by smashing it, stabbing it, or shooting it. Wondering what this has to do with you, Billy? Well, contrary to what you might read in your comic books or see on the big screen, zombies are very real. They're all around you. That's right, Billy. They're everywhere. Your teacher, your next door neighbor, your mom. They could all be part of the never ending army of the undead. Now, don't be scared, Billy. Hunting zombies can be fun and easy. There are 10 simple steps of battling and surviving a zombie infestation. Rule number one organize before they rise. When the hordes of the undead approach, the only thing that will redeem mankind is cooperation. It will do you no good to be alone and scared in your room with maybe some food or some ammunition to keep you company. In addition to how hard it will be to serve as an effective fighting force alone, the lack of human companionship will make you a sure victim of loneliness and paranoia. Instead, get a group, get supplies, and plan together before they rise. Rule number two, they feel no fear, so you shouldn't either. When it gets right down to it, one of the biggest advantages zombies have over humans is their unrelenting fearless attack. As a human, it will do you no good to stand around screaming like a moron, not only alerting zombies to your presence, but essentially making yourself a defenseless walking buffet. Instead, be fearless, be rational, be emotionless, and be utterly ruthless in your dealings with the undead. Use your head and blow theirs off. As mentioned earlier, the only vulnerable part of the zombie's body is the brain. Body shots will do nothing apart from wasting bullets and making you look stupid. Instead, go for the head. As Mexican Bob demonstrates, only with a well-placed shot to the head can a member of the undead be dispatched. Which brings us to rule number four. Blades don't need reloading. The last thing you want is to run out of ammo during a heated gunfight with the undead. Instead, always have a backup blade ready. Blades are just as good at destroying brains as guns are, only they're silent, easier to handle, and require no ammunition. Rule number five. Ideal protection equals tight clothes and short hair. Wearing loose clothes or having your hair down does nothing more than giving zombies another thing to grab a hold of before delightfully feasting on your organs. As Stevie the Nerd shows us, wearing high-riding jeans and a tucked-in shirt, despite scaring away girls in high school, makes it much easier to run by the living dead without worry of being grabbed and eaten. Rule number six. Climb the ladder, then get rid of it. Zombies can sometimes climb. Self-explanatory. Rule number seven, get out of the car, get onto the bike. You may imagine that the best way to travel through zombie-infested wastelands would be through the use of a car. However, as Mexican Bob is now finding out, cars do not provide a feasible means of transport because other abandoned cars will block your passage. The engine will also alert zombies to your presence. Right now, Mexican Bob is no doubt wishing that he used a bike, which is silent and maneuverable, unlike a car. There are zombies everywhere! I know, it sucks, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't happen to me every day. I got blood all over my face. Rule number eight, keep moving, keep low, keep quiet, and keep alert. Though it's really four rules in one, it's always important to shut up and be aware. A loud voice or imperceptive device could be your undoing, as zombies will be able to hear where you are and fight you without much resistance. Stay out of sight, make as little noise as possible, and always be on the alert. Mexican Bob here, as always, has the right idea. Rule number nine, no place is safe, only safer. Don't get lazy. This is a simplistic rule of thumb and requires no visual reenactment. Rule number 10. The zombie may be gone, but the threat lives on. Though a zombie may be dispatched with a shot to the head, the solemn virus it carries could still be harmful to the living. Spending too much time around a zombie that has not been disposed of properly can lead to sickness, or worse, death. Instead, burn all zombies after their brains have been destroyed. The solemn virus cannot withstand the heat of flames, so be sure to set zombies on fire the moment they have been destroyed. Face those zombies, Billy. Go get them, kid! 